Now what I did on the back side is I overlaid peach on the orange, I had some yellow, and I overlaid that on the gold. Now where you go from here, you can pick complementary colors or reverse colors or however you see fit to do it. This is my uh, peacock slice and I'll probably put a green over that and a blue over this came in here. I applied jade on this slice here and azure on this slice here. Now this is my blue violet and this is uh, one of those other blue green color. That, that's the aquamarine. So I'll figure out complementary colors for those and apply. I've applied the rest of my dye to this shirt, this water-soaked shirt. I've got purple over the amethyst. I've got uh, well, I've flipped it back over now. But I've got about seven to sixteen colors that I put on here, plus this green that it made. So that's seventeen. I'm going to put black on this, and it'll be eighteen. This will be an eighteen-color shirt, so it should jump fairly nicely. I'm going to go ahead and let this sit for a while, let the colors react together to see what other made colors we can get out of it, and I'll come back in a little bit and put some black on. All right, we're back with our spiral here. This has sat for a while, a few minutes. We've got the Allman Brothers from the fairgrounds this year, 2010, on the box, playing kind of loud. And what I'm going to do next is put some black on here. Black is an interesting color to work with. It does all sort of cool things when you uh, apply it to regular standard tie-dye when you overlay with black. Or There's a number of techniques you can use with black. You can either put it in a, a bucket and soak everything, just drop your whole shirt into the bucket, or you can apply the black. I use two or three different techniques. I'm going to apply black to this. I'm going to start on the inside, but I'm not going to go all the way to the inside and just apply black to all the, the wedges, flip it over, and do the same. If my third hand was here, I could show you exactly how I'm going to do it. But let's see. Just start a little bit here, and I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, I've applied black to the entire top of the shirt for the most part, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it over now and apply black to the bottom of the shirt. Not really saturating the whole thing, just giving it a good coating like this and letting it soak in. Alright, that's pretty much black applied to the bottom of the shirt. What I'm going to do is let it sit for a while and soak before I fix it in a bowl. Okay, we've reached the next phase of our tie-dyeing project here. I've got the, uh, the shirt tied up and dyed in 16 different colors plus black. It's in this bowl on the left next to my bare foot. And what I have over here on the right is some of the soda ash fixing solution, which has got a little bit of color in it, but that doesn't matter. What I'm going to do is grab some of this out of the bucket and transfer and pour it onto this. This is a soda ash fixing solution. This will stop all the color reactions and set the dyes. I'm going to put about four cups of this, get it covered nicely. Let it set for a couple of days back here on the side porch where it is more than a little bit warm right now at the moment with the washing machine going right there. And I'll be back in a couple of days. I'm going to let this sit up for a couple of days. And we'll be back to untie it and wash it out and see what Ann's shirt looks like. 
The next phase of our project is going to involve rinsing out this shirt that I did yesterday. It's set up for it's set up on the front porch for a little bit less than 24 hours, but it was quite warm yesterday. It ended up getting up to 98 on the porch, and probably uh, it was around uh, 90 degrees around 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock last night. So this thing is cooked nicely. What I'm going to do is dump this out, all the dye out, shoot it into that, and start running. Let me turn off the shower first. And start running water onto this thing. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, this is what our shirt looks like after I've just finished rinsing it out. I rinsed it out in cold water, uh, rinsed it with the rubber bands on, and started taking the rubber bands off until I got it down to where it was just a shirt, and kept rinsing it. And now the next phase, uh, I, I rinsed it until most of the dye, the unbound dye, was rinsed out. Now the next phase is going to be put it in the washing machine with a cap full of Synthropol and we'll go from there. And that is the final product. This shirt is just out of the washer. It's still wet. What I'm going to do is hang it up on a hanger to dry out and put it out in the back hall and it'll be ready. That's it.